Well, we're excited. CES is where you always break new news about cutting edge technology. And today we're talking about the Impossible Burger 2.0. This is a burger that meat eaters everywhere will enjoy that almost seems exactly like beef, but it uses a fraction of the world's resources. It's entirely made out of plants, and it doesn't make you compromise on health. No cholesterol, less fat, just as much protein, less calories. This is a burger that's a superior burger in every way to the thing you can get from a cow. Well, we're in 5,000 locations with the previous version across the United States in 49 out of 50 states. But consumers will be able to get it nationwide starting in February. We're starting with celebrity chefs as we did when we first launched. And then we're going to be at better burger chains within the next couple of weeks. Chains like Umami and Wahlburger and many other chains like White Castle. Here in Las Vegas, you can enjoy it today at, on the Strip uh, in White Castle as an impossible slider. Well, we broke our news and, and we wanted to talk about the critical need for technology to make a difference because we as a society can't make meat the way we make it. Today, to prove that the products that we have have that technology, we're giving away free Impossible Sliders. I think we're planning on giving away maybe 3,000 a day, and if, if, if last, uh, last serving is any indication, we're going to run out soon. Um, and yeah, we welcome anyone who's at CS to come try the product. Yeah, so I mean, as you can see, we're standing in our new playground. This year, um, we have our playground is actually three times the size than it was last year. Um, and we also have a ride upstairs, which you might be hearing. It's an actual physical ride that you can uh, takes you through your day and some of the best highlights of what we've brought to market on the Assistant this year. Yeah, we really want people to think of the Google Assistant as really like their companion. It is the thing that's going to know, you know, what you want, what kind of music you like to play, who your family is, and, and you know, if you say like, I want to call my husband, like it'll know that and be able to do that for you. We just want to make it really easy through your voice, whether you're a child or whether you're a senior, for you to be able to get help. Yeah, so our mission statement in 2019, uh, we just debuted it yesterday, and it really is to be the easiest way to get things done, and for us that means being there where you need us throughout your day. Um, what you see in the booth here is, is, is we're focusing on three different journeys that we think voice and specifically the Google Assistant can really help users. One is in the home, so we have a lot of devices like the Google Home, etc., some little Lenovo clocks that we announced yesterday. Um, secondly, you know, in the car, we think that people want to do more when they're driving. 
We know that a billion kilometers are driven every day in Google Maps, and so we brought the Google Assistant to Google Maps, and we're excited about you being able to text while you drive, all with your voice or make calls or whatever it is that you want to do. Well, at Nissan, you know, it's all about our Nissan Intelligent Mobility vision, about how cars are powered and driven and integrated into society. And so what we're doing is we're looking at what may be in the far future, and that is invisible to visible technology. Imagine, if you will, driving and not just seeing in what's in front of you, but having a whole universe, what we call the metaverse, at your fingertips. Enhanced driving. So you have a clear road, you have maps, you have parking spaces that are becoming available, you have a concierge service, you have avatars that are next to you teaching you how to drive, you have a fully autonomous experience. So you have all these different options available to you to really enhance your driving experience. Well, it's really about listening to our customers. You know, Nissan customers, just like all customers now, are very demanding. And we have a special ear tuned to what they are looking for. And again, this is how Nissan Intelligent Mobility started, and this is how it's continuing. We have our new LEAF, which we debuted here at CES, uh, our extended range LEAF that consumers said, I'd like one with uh, a larger battery pack. Well, we're doing that now with 50% more range and 50% more power, and CES is the place to launch this type of thing because we are listening to our customers and what they are looking for, especially when it comes to connectivity and to the uh, user interface. And uh, CES is really one of the greatest places to, uh, to experience that and to meet with the customers to learn more about what's coming and how to integrate it into our vehicles. Oh yeah, the world's first 88 inch OLED 4K, or 8K, 8K TV, just mind boggling, breathtaking. This is just one of the many great things. We've got the Nano Cell 8K as well, so we've got the whole premium line covered with the Alpha 9 Generation 2 processor. Woo, good stuff. I mean, 8K, good stuff, content's coming, uh, but the game changer, I believe, is gonna be our rollable OLED TV. That's the 4K 65 inch, but it's the Roled. <laughs> the rollable OLED TV is just absolutely breathtaking. I mean, there's, it's been the star of the show. Opinions vary, but in my opinion, I believe 8K is not about resolution, it's about the performance. And uh, with the Alpha 9 Generation 2 processor, the performance of the 8K on the LG TVs is just breathtaking. Oh man, I don't know if I can, but sure, you know, because we're in Vegas. Aviva Las Vegas! <laughs> or maybe, it's now or never. No, it's not now or never, it's right now, son. <laughs> All right, so we're here at T-Mobile's Future of Wireless Tech Truck, and we're showcasing live 5G and the different characteristics of spectrum bands. Uh, so here we have both 5G millimeter wave and low band 600 that are streaming live. Now the limitations with millimeter wave is they can be blocked by objects. They're great at providing that multi-gigabit hotspot coverage in dense urban areas, but again limited on reach, only about a, a one mile from the cell phone. Uh, it's that low band that's going to give us that thousand mile radius um, and also give us that great coverage and be able to go through many objects. So if you look up here, we've got our millimeter wave that's streaming, the 39 gigahertz. Um, and beneath that, we've got our 600. Again, that's from the live radios up there. The antennas receivers are right there in our house. And if we go ahead and shut the door, the door with the glass window, you can see it blocks the millimeter wave and the signal strength goes away but the 600 continues. Um, and that's really important to show that that's what's really gonna give us that reachability and connectivity with 5G.